Hello crafters, thank you for stopping by. I'm Martha. I am just doing a quick little recap on yesterday's live. This is, these are the two pages that we finished up and I wanted to kind of show you because our um, live last night was about two hours and I'm sure that you don't want to sit around and just watch that forever. It was so much fun. I love chatting with you guys, but I'd forgotten to do the ruffle uh, part on live one. And so I wanted to make sure that uh, we did that part. So let me show you how this went. I always like to start with the base, okay? So the base of this is this gorgeous kind of a paisley looking with the green. And of course I did one inch all the way around, turned it over so it's only one page. I love that. You will see that probably on every single page that I do because it's just my thing. I love, love, love the way it looks kind of finished. It just looks the way I feel like it should look in my own head. So after we did that, we went around and did the border. Now, I don't know if you got to see the video on CH3, uh, Anna Griffin CH3, and I kind of looked a little bit really close. And uh, and I think we're doing double borders, like maybe double borders like this is, is a thing. So I wanted to start practicing doing some double borders. So here you have the pink. The other thing I love to practice and kind of make work is these little short uh, dies that are for cards, but I like to make them work for scrapbooking. It's just a challenge to myself. I feel like that's something that we can do. Uh, lots of us have not all the 12 inch borders. And so if you have some of these little ones, uh, make it work. You know, you can add like here, it's a little flower there accidentally. Uh, I think the, um, the part that is merged together. I don't know where it's at. I can't see it, but maybe it's right there. So, you know, you don't even know. You can put a flower on there. You don't know what's going to happen. So I love doing that. And uh, that's what my first thing was. I used it in a pale pink, which is this one right here. And then I put a gold. And that gold is the one that we use from Crop at Home 2 or 1. I'm not sure. We practice uh, mitering. And you know how I just love to miter corners i use this little trick with a, a plastic mat from the kitchen and a triangle uh, math tool and so what we end up doing is we put the border onto the corner and you protect the bottom base you put the triangle right on there and then you cut with a craft knife okay so you there's there's videos on that if you want to go look back uh, so that's what we did here and i think that's also something we have to practice come up for crop at home three uh, it's fast and so we want to make sure we stay on top of things and not fall behind so that was the first thing so on the live one you guys saw how i put together the little heart let me bring it over here. I love to use sometimes a template instead of using a paper that is so valuable to me and uh, these double-sided gorgeous papers from Annalise or any paper. So I just get something that's basic and I turn it into what I think I want to do. Uh, you can see that I did, I practiced with this one and I kind of said, I think they're too tight or they're looking like diamonds instead of squares. And so what I figured out was that I needed more space. I needed more space in between here. So I do an inch and then an eighth and I cut out an inch, an eighth, an inch, an eighth. So that's how we do this little gorgeous heart. And then we did a box pleat underneath. Now for this heart, first of all, it's only, it's a pocket. It's a, my, my, <laughs> it is a monstrosity of a huge pocket. My thought is that that's where I want to put all my little Valentine treats right in here. Uh, love notes to my people and uh, that the people that I love. And so that's where I want to kind of put that at. Um, so this is a box pleat that I did with just the regular uh, rosette maker that is one quarter of an inch and one quarter of an inch. And then what you do is right here, you have three quarter inches and then you box pleat it and you do two quarter inches box pleat it and then you do three quarter inches okay and you continue continue i did i can tell you that it's much easier to use text weight paper instead of this heavyweight cardstock but it just takes practice and probably hot glue would probably be a good idea to get it all in okay uh, so i did that part and then um last night i just wasn't 
finished with the end. I couldn't decide what to do with it. And this morning it came to me, I wanted to use this same die, the one that we used on this side, only it doesn't look like it's the same. This die here is pointing in, so you can't see the little point. So think about that when you're using your die, sometimes you just want the little curve of it and not the point of it. And then on the cart, I turned it around so that it would be pointing out. Really cute, I really like the way it's coming out. Then I kind of just put tons of flowers and my idea or my thought pattern with this was that I wanted all the flowers to be coming out of the heart and kind of cascading onto these gorgeous pictures that we're gonna do on this side. So I put down a lot of flourishes first and then I went back and kind of embellished with a lot of flowers. And I think that's what also took a lot of time because it takes me a while sometimes to, to get my flowers put down. So then on this part, we have uh, three little flaps that come up and over. The bottom is the largest base from our scrapbook one frames. And then this one is a hinge that goes underneath the gold. Okay, and then the same, the smaller size scrapbook frame, and you leave the hinge on the out, uh, on the inside, so you don't want to cut it when you run it through. Okay, uh, you can look at the details. I just kind of want to give you a little tidbit of what we put together last night, uh, so you don't have to look at the entire two hour live from last night. This is the gold, and I embossed it with some of those large six by 12, it's a rose pattern. And then I ran it again with the scrapbook tool uh, frames so that it gave me that cute little edge that's right here. And then that also kind of pressed down and kind of made it look like more like an engraving instead of just an embossing on the gold. And I really, really love the way that looks. Of course, there's going to be pictures here or one big picture, whatever you decide. But I really like doing little flaps or pictures on here when I'm working on this. Here, the, tool, the idea is when you have these little cute little flaps here, you need to make sure that on the other side you have a mirrored image to cover up the exact thing or you need to have a plan because you are gonna see this side. So you wanna make sure that you do that. The same right here with the little date tag. I put something on the inside so that you kind of know where it's at. And that is from last night's live. I just wanted to kind of show you what we put together. I'm really hoping that you're enjoying the lives. I am loving not having to edit um, these classes for you. I don't have any help with editing, so I really appreciate you guys doing the lives with me. I love getting to know you guys and let's keep it up. I really am enjoying uh, meeting you guys on Thursday night, lives at 8.30 Central, and then hopefully we can uh, catch up on Friday at the same time, 8.30 Central, so we can finish up the layout and see how things are going. And I, I'm gonna try to see do some practice so that we can start really getting ready for crop at home three. So if you guys had some problems, I really wanna, I want your help. If you guys have some problems during crop at home one or two, uh, let me know what you couldn't uh, do fast enough and maybe I have a trick that we can do together and and really be successful for crop at home three. It's coming up in May. I have a group of ladies in Texas that I'm gonna meet with and we're gonna do it all together with Anna Griffin. It's gonna be so much fun. If you wanna get with me and do this, it's gonna be in Austin, Texas. So let me know and uh, thank you so much and we'll see you again Thursday at 8.30. Subscribe for me, please leave me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye-bye.